Okay, this is a quick video on the Woolies Cart Filler Firefox add-on that I've made. Uh, so this is some glue that joins Grossy to Woolworths. Now I know Woolworths are a mob of muggles. Uh, we'll just put that aside. Capitalism. Uh, Grossy is a free open source uh, web app that you can run yourself that keeps track of your groceries. Basically it. Um, so here's all the stuff that we have in stock. You can see the stuff that's uh, blue, you know, we don't have any of it. Uh, stuff that's grey has expired. Uh, and you should chuck it out, like apparently some eggs that expired six months ago. And uh, these ones are going to expire soon. Uh, so it knows we have all this. I've done the stock take earlier today. Go to the shopping list, nothing in our shopping list, and we click the button, populate a shopping list with all the stuff we need to buy to bring us up to our minimum quantity of things we'll need for the week. Very good. Now I have to go over to the Woolworths and then uh, manually search for each thing. Milk. I find some milk. I pick some milk and I add it to my cart. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather this is the future. Uh, so I made some glue to talk to Grossy, talk to Woolworths, and populate my Woolworths shopping cart from Grossy. Uh, so there's a few things to do to get this set up. You'll need a Grossy instance running. You'll need a Woolworths account, and you'll need to install this add-on. And then you'll need to go into Grossy and click the little spanner and manage API keys. Uh, I'm not going to click this because it'll show all my API keys. Um, but once you do that, you create an API key that it has access to everything you need. And that, that grants my add-on access to the uh, Grossy REST API, which is how we pull the shopping list. So now we're faced with the problem of how do we marry up a product in Gracie to a product in uh, Woolworths. So uh, we've got a bunch of different stuff in here that I've added over the years, and we need some way to link it to a specific product in, in Woolworths. So uh, I know for a fact that Nutrigrain isn't in the list. Uh, so let's have a quick squeeze at that. Um, so one nice thing that uh, Grossy does is lets you define custom parameters, user fields, they call them. And I've added one user field for the Woolworth stock code. So to do that, you go manage master data, you go to user fields, and then you add, add a user field for the products. And then type in uh, stock code. Done. That's all you do. I've already done it. It's here, and then that adds this extra field that we can use to set that link between our Grossy product and our Woolworths product. So right now it's blank. So let's fix that. We'll go into here and we'll go Nutrigrain. Uh, where's the big box? 290, 470, one kilo. Bloody hell, they sell a kilogram of Nutrigrain. Sure, whatever. Uh, so now we need to press F12 to open up our browser network tools. Uh, this looks scary, just chill out. It might look scary, don't worry about it, it's not that scary. You just press a button and it pops up this little window that shows you all the network requests that your browser is making, what it's saying to the server. Then we click Add to Cart, and then in this list here we'll see a post to update. Click on that one, then click on Request, and then bada bing bada boom, there's the stock code. So this is the number that Woolworths uses to refer to this specific product. So we grab that stock code, we go back to Grossy, we paste it in there, and we save. Done. We've now created a link between Grossy, the Grossy product and the uh, Woolworths product. So now we need to configure the add-on, uh, which is pretty straightforward. I would show you how to do it, but the screen capture that I've got set up capturing this window doesn't capture the actual box. Plus, it's got my Grossy URL in it, which I'd rather not be public. Um, so you click the little icon that the add-on gives you, and it gives you a very self-explanatory little pop-up. So you enter your uh, Grossy URL, and you paste in your API key, and then you click Save Grossy Details. It's all detailed in the readme. It's very straightforward. Uh, once you've done that, you've now created a link between the add-on and your Grossy instance. Um, so let's go back to Woolworths now. I'll empty the cart, and then I'll... Uh, you can't Again, you can't see the, the pop-up that I'm getting, but I'll click it and then I'll click the populate cart button. So now in the background, the add-on is talking to Grossy and making all the add to cart calls on the, the um, Woolworth side of things to populate your Grossy shopping list into the cart. And there you go. So everything that's on your shopping list that has a uh, stock code specified is now in the list. So there is uh, one thing, so we've got 11 things in the shopping list. There's something in here. Oh yeah, packet pasta. Um, so let's go through that process now. Uh, what do we call this? 
uh, instant instant pasta. Uh, when we can't be bothered, we make one of these. It's similar to this one. It's not the same. Hmm. Mm, let's just pick Creamy Alfredo. That sounds alright. So again, hit F12 to bring up the, the browser tools, add to cart, find the update call, go to the request, grab the stock code, then we go back into Grossi, we go to the products, we search for packet pasta, edit, chuck it in, save. Done. So now we go back and I'll run the populate cart via the add-on again. And now it'll know about that extra thing we just added. And it will be added to our cart. And yeah, three of them. Done. Um, so this will save a lot of time. And uh, hopefully it'll let us cook more homemade meals. Because uh, I've got a bunch of uh, grocery, a bunch of recipes added in here. So we can go in and you know pick some halloumi burgers. Kids love halloumi burgers. Hit add to shopping list, and then it will do the needful. And uh, when I order the Woolworths, it'll show up at the door. Um, that's basically the long, the short of it. Um, if you hit any snags, uh, post an issue on the um, GitHub project thingy, and uh, let us know how you go. Okay, bye bye.